And now for some insight on what's happening in Syria. And with the military operation in Libya, let's turn to retired General Wesley Clark, former NATO Supreme Allied Commander. He's in Washington this morning. General Clark, good morning to you. Good morning, Russ. In your mind, is there anything the U.S. can be or should be doing in Syria at this point? Well, I think that we are doing the appropriate thing, which is we're uh, making first our position clear to all the actors in the region, including the Syrian government, that their conduct is not acceptable. I think our ally Turkey has a lot to say in this case. Turkey has been, uh, has been very circumspect in, in condemning what's gone on in Libya. Now this uh, unrest is, is closing in on Turkey through its border, through its refugee concerns. And I think this is going to be uh, a very important moment for Turkey's government to stand up and be counted in the need to treat people with humanity and respect their own citizens in these neighboring countries. General, let me ask you about this uh, crisis at the border. Do you see that situation getting much worse? I think that what we've seen now is the, the first indications that the Syrian army itself is breaking down. Uh, you know, militaries have discipline, but when you order soldiers to fire on their own people, uh, that discipline breaks. And we've seen that in Eastern Europe during the 1980s and 90s, and now we're seeing this in Syria. As the Syrian uh, military collapses under the, under the orders of repression, that could signal a new stage of disorder in Syria. Let's talk about NATO. NATO has not gotten involved in this. As the former NATO Allied Supreme Commander, do you think this is a situation where NATO could really help out? Well, I, I think that first the, we, we want to hear from the states in the region. So Turkey's a NATO member, yes. But we'd like to hear what the Saudis say. We'd like to hear what uh, the Jordanians have to say about this. Because ultimately, these are problems that have to be solved within nations. So maybe there's a place for NATO at some point in this, but right now, NATO is very actively engaged in Libya. I was going to ask you, when people say, okay, we went into, NATO went into Libya, but, but not Syria, you say what? Yes, because what happened was that it, it moved in a time sequence uh, throughout the Islamic world, throughout the Arab world at least. And so Libya was closer, it's, it's more directly connected to Europe than Syria is. There's a refugee and economic linkage, there's oil. And so for these three reasons, it, it was normal that these European countries took uh, mm. a, a louder and more active role in Libya. But now NATO has got to deal with Libya. It, uh, Syria's a bridge too far right now. General, for NATO. very quickly, let me ask you about some comments made this week by outgoing Defense Secretary Robert Gates. He said the future, future of NATO could be, quote, dim and dismal, dismal if European nations don't step up on defense spending. He said the American government is not going to carry NATO as a charity case. Is someone who is, again, was the, the Allied commander in NATO. What do you think about this? Do you agree with him? Well, I think these are deserved comments, and I was glad to see Secretary Gates tell it like it is to our European allies. But this is a long-running dispute in NATO. It's been going on since the very beginning of the alliance in 1950 when we first put troops over there in 1951. Uh, General Eisenhower was the first NATO Supreme Allied Commander. He wrote back to President Truman in 1952 saying, the Europeans aren't doing enough. It's called burden sharing. And uh, we've argued about it back and forth. But it is important that the European allies mm -hmm. keep up their spending and do more. General Wesley Clark, as always, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you.